there is something different about Bandung. It's making heads turn and enticing curious visitors to flock to this favored weekend destination in Indonesia. Livable, lovable. Two words that best describe how its dynamic city mayor, Ridawan Kamil, promises to transform this urban Islamic destination with his contemporary brand of democratic leadership. Invited to speak before a select audience at the University of the Philippines in Diliman, Bandung City Mayor Ridawan Kamil was warmly welcomed by delegates and officials gathered for the 2016 Islam and Democracy Forum. The forum is a series of dialogues among scholars and stakeholders who aim to confront and resolve issues related to democracy, participation, and development of Muslim communities. On hand to welcome everyone was UP President Alfredo Pascual. Many of the problems that have haunted Metro Manila and the rest of the Philippines for many years have been studied by some of our experts here in the university, revealing that billions of pesos are lost due to traffic problem, which literally is slowing down our economy. The University of the Philippines experts, particularly those from the School of Urban and Regional Planning, have probed into these problems and made recommendations to our leaders with regard to how our cities and communities can be made smart and happy sites and cities. While many of these suggestions have been taken into consideration by these leaders, we should not stop from learning from our friends and neighbors new ways and approaches which we can pursue to remedy urban and rural issues in this country. Introduced as the architect of change in Bandung City, Mayor Ridawan Kamil gave a brief preview of his academic and professional achievements prior to his election as mayor in 2013. A practicing architect, he established Urbane, one of Indonesia's 10 best design firms. He is likewise a lecturer at the Bandung Institute of Technology, Department of Architecture. Use your imagination in any form to create a better world. Sukarno presented Indonesia, constructed Indonesia in the form of imagination because we are 17,000 islands, 700 languages, 400 ethnicities. How become Indonesia? This is the power of imagination. Mayor Ridawan's brand of leadership reveals how democracy can succeed if the one on top is someone who is brave, collaborative, and essentially creative. And within three years of his service, Bandung has been totally transformed. Putting teeth to his vision of a livable and lovable smart city, he designed and built structures that have put Bandung among the country's most visited cities. Often sitting down to listen to his people, he asked them to help transform slums into open parks, converted traffic congested streets into attractive and profitable pedestrian commercial areas, and developed once dirty and violent areas into public meeting places for viewing and recreation. When asked for his advice in solving Manila's traffic problem, he offers the need to change one's lifestyle in addressing the issues of overpopulation. When people live, work and play in one area, the more the city becomes walkable. Fighting traffic does not always require expensive infrastructure. My point is, the city is the people. If you design stressful cities, that stressful city creates stressful generation. So, if I design a happy city, the city will design a happy society. That's basically my business. With more of his development plans, zeroing in on encouraging infrastructure development, his leadership clearly points to a progressive era where, among others, pilot projects to improve the water systems aim to reduce the city's water issues. 
everyone with a wild idea to help govern the city can post on the city's website, If I Were Mayor. Every week, Bandung Fun Days offer creative and healthy ways to preserve the local culture. Tuesday is not smoking day. Yeah. Thursday is English day. Sunday is not Maybe Monday day. Being social media savvy, he wisely invested on the platform to make the city the Silicon Valley of Indonesia. Today, he is the face of modern Islam. I have 1.5 million Twitter followers. I have 4 million Instagram followers. So I posted only good news. That's my policy. Because bad news is already consumed by mainstream media. In Indonesia, all media belong to the conglomerate, belong to type news. I have only power in my hands and my arms, so I'm using this. And his happy city is wired to the world. Within the last two years, his local government has managed to convert all manual processes into digital systems using hundreds of software applications. Virtually every public service is now online. I can control my bureaucracy now. Before, I have no idea how many complaints. I have no idea how I can get into this department problem. Yeah. Now, I have an iPad with me. I can check everything now from Manila taking my income from tech, taking my traffic, taking my projects everywhere in the, in the hands of uh, tablets. Yeah. Above all, accountability to the public has become easier to track. For the mayor, Islam and democracy hand in hand with a new kind of contemporary leadership pointing the way to an effective slice of democracy thriving in Indonesia. If people like me uh, can become a leader, we can really transform uh, our city using the culture of professionalism, because I was an architect, the culture of scientific, because I was an associate professor, and creating a new face of bureaucracy. So if this becomes the new model of, of cities in developing countries, uh, then I really hope that we can be a model city. Yeah? where value of religiosity, where the value of modernity can become one and presented uh, the peaceful model.